Hi everyone, thank you for joining me, Jean here with another Mars High Rise Epic. In this one I'm featuring what I speculate to be another vast debris field found on Mars. The high rise photograph we'll be analyzing is here. It was taken in Hunton Crater. I'll give you the link in the video description below. Acquisition date 15th of August 2012. And although the uh, projected map scale is 25 centimeters per pixel, the JP2 I looked at, which is 630 megabytes, isn't of such a high resolution, so the images I've zoomed in on are a little bit blurry. This is the two craters that, or holes, that I'm going to be looking at first. And uh, this one at the top looks rather unusual with this um, crescent shape step in the center. And then this one down here, yeah, these two look very artificial. So this is from the low res JPEG. I cropped the image that I'm showing you from that file. So this is it zoomed out and uh, you can see this rather strange geometry and symmetry to this hole and uh, I seem to speculate that this might be artificially made might be some intelligence involved here could this be an excavated hole a type of a hangar with an entrance way there maybe even an underground entranceway to some type of base, who knows. This is at uh, one to one scale and uh, it's surrounded with these broken megalithic blocks with knobs or features on them and uh, it's about 350 meters across so it's huge. In the other hole which also looks as if it could have been artificially made Especially if you look at that area there, it looks as if uh, that could have been the, uh, the entrance to this hole. It's also 350 meters across. Check out that uh, rectangular megalithic block straight sides, uh, rather symmetrical. And then uh, I also found this strange uh, dome-like mound with a rectangular megalith some distance away, about 60 meters away, which I found quite strange as well. Check out this area seems to be worked or scraped. So the first object we're looking at is right there and it looks like this uh, disc shaped object the smaller dome feature like part to it on the top in the center and it reminds me of another video I did some time ago which features these uh, carved stone discs that they found in Russia I'll include the link to that video and blog post in the description below for you guys. Then uh, more objects with these little knobs or features on. So I've zoomed in on uh, that one right there. This uh, looks partially buried like this uh, sort of disc shape. The smaller dome in the center. More of these unusual features. I'm looking at uh, that part there and that one there specifically. So this one here to the left looks as if it could be uh, some type of artificial um, object. Looks like machinery or technology. Check out the part over here. And then over there too we've got these very similar looking objects uh, with these two slots 
in each side and uh, they seem to be sort of lying one on top of the other not your usual type of rock or boulder so could that be wreckage from some type of machinery or technology and then uh, another one of these features with a little dome or disc or knob on it partially buried check out that uh, little feature there in the center and uh, you can use the scale I've provided to give an approximate size most of these objects are between 8 and 12 meters across so quite small but also then if you are on the surface close to these things they'll be massive there's the next object right there in the center and uh, it's like this oblong smaller feature on what looks like a piece of uh, metallic plate that's been bent the sort of uh, opening of the air check out the really nicely defined edge to that smaller part so what could that be and then right here in the center another one of the sort of partially buried disc like objects a smaller oblong feature in the center and then uh, this pile of uh, broken megalithic blocks this one over here grabbed my attention not just because it's so bright but this um, narrow piece coming around this one side over here it seems to have a smaller little feature there almost like a, a bolt or a nut check that out rather strange looking uh, object that and then more of these smaller objects scattered about here with these little features and knobs on them these look like three semi-circular objects almost uh, the same type of geometry and size that have been uh, stacked onto one another check out the smaller knobs or features on those some more of these objects little domes or knobs on them and um, I'm only showing you a couple that I found in this photograph my blog contains over 130 of these objects I found. I'm only showing you a few here in this video to keep it short. We'll hop over to my blog after this. Check out these uh, objects over here. Really flat, smooth, shiny surfaces. Then there's a little dome like feature on that one. There's more of them there there, even down here, wherever you look you'll find these things and um, more of them over here, that one there grabbed my attention, it's like this rectangular object, straight sides, 90 degree angles and then uh, two small little dome like features and knobs on it there as well another one of these sort of disc shaped objects with a little sphere on it in the center and then uh, this one here looks almost like a disc partially buried as well so you got there's another part there with a little object on it another one up here another one there as I say guys you'll find these things everywhere so this looks like a disc partially buried with three equally sized 
and spaced features on it so highly artificial check out these uh, broken megalithic blocks here and uh, that object over there caught my attention looks almost like a plectrum that you'd use with a guitar the shape of this object and then uh, also it's got these smaller features on it so what could that be top of a metallic disc with rounded corners and then uh, this looks like some type of broken megalithic blocks that have been stacked next to one another check out the narrow rectangular feature there and uh, right next to it this smaller little part right next to it sort of in the center of that block so rather unusual more of these uh, objects with little knobs on them check out this one another sort of plectrum shape with two similar sized features on top it almost looks like a perfect little cube or square that there looks like a metal plate bent metal plate almost check out this over here more of these little parts little knobs or domes on them or there over here so let's check out this one it looks like um, half a plectrum shape that part's been broken off pretty neatly check out that straight line it looks as if it's got this rounded wing to it not that that is a wing guys but check how flat this part is it's almost like a, a rounded metal plate it's embedded in this part and then another little feature on the top over there another one of these uh, sort of I don't know hexagon shape possibly and it's got uh, smaller circular features or parts on top because if this is hollowed out and that uh, sort of ball or sphere is lying in the center in that hollowed out part check out the other objects around here with small little features on top in their centers very weird more of those over here this seems to be like a rectangular object with three of those little features equally spaced equally sized and then uh, another rec disc sort of object with a little dome on it almost as if this could have been part of uh, an object as well totally wrecked of course and then uh, another one of these sort of disc like objects partially buried and a little feature on the top and then uh, this part of here looks almost like uh, some type of machinery or technology very metallic looking it's got this uh, rounded opening here this rectangular part sticking out and then uh, this rounded part to the right of here and then a smaller little feature on the top over there looks like little ball or sphere 
maybe a little dome. Check out this object over here. It's got a really strange disc, smaller disc over here. And then a little ball right in the middle there. And then it looks as if this is a bit of a chevron shape. So what the heck could that have been? Also, it looks like a metallic uh, type of material. Also bent and wrecked. But that there is really interesting. Check out the shadow it casts. Strange disc, little ball. And then uh, more of these megalithic type blocks with little features on them. There's one here, other one there, other one there with multiple little features on it. Nice when you get a chance, check these out. In my blog, you can download the larger images one to one scale. You can go through these at your leisure. Ah, check out this uh, triangular block. And then these four triangular parts of features called my tension. Sort of same geometry and shape. And sort of equally spaced as well. Nicely in a row next to these uh, strange uh, parts. Check out that part there. Another little smaller disc with a little dome on it. So could this be uh, part of a sculpture perhaps? Then more of these objects with features on them. That one in the center grabbed my attention with these uh, four little dome-like parts equally spaced. This is also highly unnatural I think. And then uh, this rect uh, triangular part with these two smaller parts sticking out on the one side. This would be a top of a craft. And then uh, another one of those discs with a little dome-like feature on it. In fact, there's more of these uh, objects with little knobs of features on them. So check that out. Also erect and bent. There's another one of them there. Check out those uh, parts over there. Looks like this rounded, nicely rounded object. Really nice edge. So wedged into the surface. And these two things are partially buried. Check out that sort of disc like smaller part to that piece. I have no idea what that could have been. Check out that there as well. Another one of those plectrum shapes, a little dome or ball on it. These look like uh, metallic plates with rounded corners. Check out the well defined edge sort of layered on top of one another. Could this be covering something? Could this be an underground entrance way? Pure speculation, guys. Check out that disc shape over here as well. Sort of wedged in underneath that there. Unreal. Another one of those uh, Bent metallic plates almost, the rounded corners, another the dome-like object on the top. Another one there. Another one here. More up there. 
unbelievable. More of them here. And uh, look at that perfect disc shape there. With a little circular feature on it, nicely in the center of that disc. And then another piece of metallic looking uh, object over here, with rounded corners, also bent. Two small little features on it. Check out the geometry in these things, it's quite incredible. And then this too, um, weird, looks like uh, metallic plates. Two next to one another there. Don't know what this could be. And then uh, another one of these disc like objects with a smaller feature in the center. What could this be? Could this have been part of something? Broke up. <coughs> Pardon me. And then over here. This hexagon shaped, partially buried object with five smaller features on it. There's lots of symmetry and geometry in this. And the way that these things have been spaced placed on top of this and then uh, could this be another piece of destroyed machinery or technology is that partially buried so you got this uh, rectangular part nicely defined edges rounded corner there 90 degree angle and then uh, this rounded part to it very similar to the one I showed you earlier. And then uh, more of these objects, little features on them. There's multiple objects. I don't know how this could form naturally. Check out these. Are they, these are uh, little knobs or features have been placed strategically on top of these uh, these things then another one of those uh, this like shaped objects with another circular feature in the center it's like a smaller little dome to the side over here And then this object there, got another four of these uh, smaller features, similar to the one I showed you earlier, same size and um, equally spaced, lots of geometry and symmetry in that as well. And then uh, you had to check out this, looks like a metallic type of plate straight edges there and then these rounded corners with a little ball or sphere located to the top and then uh, this looks like another plectrum shape it's been split down the middle partially buried and then it's got this oblong feature on the top, nicely in the center, in line with the split. So, what could that have been? A, a craft? Some type of craft, perhaps? Another one of these uh, sort of plectrum shape objects with two features in the center. Okay, that's it guys. Let's quickly hop over to Google Earth Mars, show you um, the new site. It's down here. Hunton Crater. That's where we've got this really strange hole with this opening. Looks like a top of a hangar or underground entrance 
you know, so that's uh, the area in which I just showed you those anomalies. The next area I covered in previous videos, which I'll also include the links to below, where I found uh, really strange objects as well. This is one of the best photographs I've seen from my eyes. Very, very high def to get these strange objects. So, uh, who knows what that could have been, eh? And then uh, we go over to the next site that I also covered in a previous video. And this is where uh, the more of these sort of disc-like objects with smaller domes in the center. And then the next site where we find more of these megalithic blocks and discs with uh, smaller features on them. So let's zoom out and uh, I've linked those sites with that white line to give an idea of where these things are located. Very interesting. Okay, so let's hop over to my blog quickly. Another vast debris field found on Mars. Let's give it a second to load. I don't know why it's taking so long. Okay, my machine's hanging, guys. Sorry about that. And the hard disk is thumping away. So, here it is. And uh, as always, you can click on any of these images and uh, it will take you through to the one-to-one -one scale cropped images from the JP2 and uh, as usual because this is uh, a responsive blog check that out guys you can uh, view this on your mobiles in landscape mode okay So there's uh, over 130 artifacts that I found in this high-rise photo and I've only showed you guys a couple in the video. Just uh, go down to the bottom and uh, yeah you'll find links to my previous blog posts and YouTube videos. So that's it for this video I think. Thank you for watching. To the new subscribers thanks for joining. My old subscribers thanks for uh, supporting the channel and all my viewers thank you for taking the time and for your interest in the work I do. So I'll see you all in the next one.